let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. Octopus <laughs> in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe and Tastin, take your second right past Mars. On the magic school bus. Alligator Nostro. Climb on the magic school bus. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic scuba. Is it finished yet, Tim? Stop rushing me, Keisha. How long can it take to make a model of the sun that plays Wait Till the Sun Shines Nelly when you wind it up? There. You think DA's gonna like it? She'll love it. It's the perfect present for her birthday. Too bad she's sick and had to stay home today. Hello? How come you guys are still at school? It's DA. Um, we're waiting for Miss Frizzle. She's driving us over after her teacher's meeting. Well, hurry! I want you to see my new telescope. It's really neat. We'll be there soon. Bye. Where is Miss Frizzle anyway? Huh? huh? Oh, good afternoon, class. Perfect timing, Miss Frizzle. Tim just finished DA's present. Take a look, Miss Frizzle. I'm okay, but DA's present isn't. What are we gonna do? It's too late to make another one. Right here, right now, you can get the perfect gift from SSN, the Star Shopping Network. Hey, check this out. It's one of those shows where you can call up and buy things. And here's your host, the stellar seller himself, Horace Cole. Good evening, folks. I'm Horace Cope, bringing you the perfect gift for someone you love. A star. A star? That's right, a star. A star from the vast reaches of the universe. And when you buy a star, you get to name it. Seriously, folks, I've only got three stars left. One, two, and three. For the ridiculously low price of just $7 each. That's it. We'll all chip in a dollar and get D.A. her very own star. Great idea. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Slow down. My grandma once bought a mop from the Home Mopping Network and it didn't mop. So I'm not spending my money on anything I haven't checked out myself. But Keisha... Keisha's right, Tim. We don't have to buy a star sight unseen. We, we don't. don't. To the bus! But what about DA's party? Stop! Wait, I... Uh-oh. I hate when this happens. I'll give you a hand, Arnold. We're going star shopping. Uh, couldn't we just go to the mall? Computer, report please. All systems go, Ms. Frizzle. We are leaving the Earth behind. And here comes the moon! I mean, there goes the moon! Wow, are we going fast or what? We just went from planet Earth to the moon in less than a minute. As my Aunt Dromeda always says, Ralphie, to reach the stars, you have to get way past Mars. 
Look at all those teeny tiny stars! I wonder if they'll get bigger when we get closer, like the moon did. They better. We need some way to tell them apart. Now you're probably asking, Morris Coop, how can you sell me a star if they all look alike? Right? Wrong. That's the beauty of it. Look closely and you'll see lots of different kinds of stars. For instance, take this little baby. Only two million years old. <laughs> now, believe it or not, that's really young for a star. To see it, just look in the direction of the constellation Taurus the Bull. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Ooh. Please, who ever heard of a baby star? To see it for yourself, you'd have to fly at a speed of 500 million miles an hour. And it would still take you about 80 years just to get there. So isn't it a lot easier to just call? 80 years? I told my mom I'd be home by 7. Then what are we waiting for? Hmm, baby star, here we come. Is it just me, or do we just leave our solar system behind? Man, we've already gone so far, we can't see any of the planets anymore. And now our sun looks as tiny as, well, a star. Hey, Ms. Frizzle, is our sun a star? Just like all the other stars out here? Yup. Makes you think, doesn't it? Computer, star chart, please. Ah, yes, right on course. Constellation Taurus, here we come. We should be seeing the baby star right about... Coming out of hyperdrive now. Wow! Hmm, that baby star should be around here somewhere. But it's hard to tell with all this dust and gas. Dust and gas? Is that what these weird clouds are made of? Stellar nursery straight ahead. Dust, gas, swirling clouds? This is not a good place for a baby. On the contrary, Phoebe, it's the best place for a baby star. Oh, wow! This new telescope is really neat. You can see practically forever. Take a look, Liz. You can even see huge clouds of dust and gas way up there. Gee, I wonder what they look like up close. That can't be our baby star. It doesn't look like what we saw on TV. You're right, Keisha. It's a ball of gas, but not a star. Whoa! What's happening? We're being sucked towards the center. Warning, warning. Due to a large ball of hot gas, we are out of control. Oh, no! At my old school, we never got pulled into the boiling hot center of a swirling cloud of dust and gas! I know, Phoebe, isn't this fantastic? Nobody's ever seen what we're seeing. Lucky nobody. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Unless we want to end up where all that dust and gas is, We'd better use reverse! It worked! We're safe! Good one, Tim! Look! There's the baby star! It's been behind us the whole time! Oh, stop! It's too bright to look at, Miss Frizzle. No problem, class. Whoa! For Baby Star, it sure is humongous. Well, Arnold, Baby Stars come in all sizes. Let's see how humongous it really is, shall we? Hmm, it's actually on the small side. Only about half the size of our sun. So, it's just a baby. I say let's call up Porous Cope and buy it. Wait a second, Tim. This is not a happy star. 
poor thing. It looks like it's got gas. Very good, Phoebe. All stars have gas. That's what they're made of. But this two million year old baby just hasn't settled down yet. You know it's at that awkward age. Come on, Keisha. Let's buy it and go to the party. No way. I'm not spending a dime on this star. It's too young and too wild. Keisha, what kind of star are you looking for anyway? Well, something a bit bigger and brighter with no dust around it. And it would be nice if it had a planet or two. We need a star we can trust, like our own sun. Okay, so you don't like the baby star. No problem. Remember, there are still two stars left. And this next one is sensational. A shining example of a grown-up middle-aged star. And to find it, look right here in the Big Dipper. Seats, everyone, and buckle up. Computer, how far is it? Approximately 100 million million miles. Wow! That's not all. This next star even comes with its own planets. Absolutely free. There it is, Keisha. Just the kind of star you're looking for. It looks okay, but I want to be sure it's different from the baby star. Good idea, Keisha. Let's you and I take a closer look. Buckle up, Miss Frizzle. It's bigger and brighter than the baby star. I like the color a lot better, and it seems a lot calmer. That's because this star's all grown up, Keisha. A happy, healthy five billion years old at the prime of its life. Hmm. No dust clouds around it either. And look, it's got its own planets. I can see at least two. Wow, this star looks just like our sun. Let's buy it, Miss Frizzle. Sold. <gasps> Sold? But I haven't even dialed yet. I guess someone beat us to it. But who would want to buy our star? Congratulations, young lady, and enjoy your brand new star. What do you want to name it? Janet! Janet? I've always wanted my name up in lights, but this is even better. I can't wait to tell my cousin Arnold about it. How embarrassing. Come on, guys. We can't give up yet. There's still one more star left. And remember, there's still one star left. As you can see by this accurate artist's rendition, I've saved the best for last. A red super giant star. Look right here. Here, 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 here. Here. Here in the constellation of Andromeda. So if you're in the neighborhood, <laughs> check it out. Or just call. It's a lot faster. Wanna bet? <laughs> According to my research, that tiny star out there is actually a red supergiant, a hundred times bigger than our sun. Because we're so far away from it, it looks like a tiny point of light. But if we were closer, it would look very, very... Humongous, stupendous, astronomical, a 20 million year old red supergiant. Isn't she a beauty? Tell you what, folks, since this is my last star, I'll take 50 cents off the price if somebody buys it in the next, oh, 50 seconds? Sounds like a good deal to me. We better call before somebody else buys it. Star Shopping Network, horoscope speaking. Hi, I'm Tim, and I, I mean we, that is Miss Frizzle's class, would like to, uh, hold on a sec. Well, Keisha, well, Keisha? Well, it's certainly the biggest star by a long shot, and I like the color. It doesn't have any planets, but there are no dust clouds either. And it's no wild baby. So? so? Okay, okay. Buy it. We want to buy the red supergiant star and name it for Dorothy Ann. Sold! You just bought yourselves a star, and not a moment too soon. We did it. We got the biggest, brightest birthday present DA's ever had. 
She'll love having a star that's so much bigger than the other stars. Wait a minute. If it's so much bigger, how come we got it so cheap? Yeah! Chorus did seem in a hurry to sell it. So, do you guys think there's something wrong with it? I don't see anything wrong. As my old friend Librarian always says, uh, you can't tell a book by its cover. <gasps> Let's take a peek inside with our sneak up Peekatron. Watch this. Amazing! We can actually see inside the star. Is it just me, or are the insides of our star shrinking? Not shrinking, Ralphie, collapsing. Oh no, the star's insides are getting squeezed together. Does it matter what's going on inside? It was shining just fine on the outside, and that's all DA will see. Core explosion imminent. Three, two, one. Super! Super? Ms. Frizzle, DA Star is gone! It's history! 650 for nothing! But why did our star explode when it did? It looked okay on the outside. It was bigger. It was brighter. Well, Horace did say the super giant was 20 million years old. A stellar observation, Phoebe. Stars do grow old and eventually go out. But some like this one go out with a bang! They're called supernovas. Well, it sure left a super mess. You know, it looks a lot like the place where we found the baby star. All these leftovers from the blast are clouds of dust and gas. Then let's get out of here. Last time we got too close to a cloud of hot gas, we almost got fried. But Tim, Tim, don't you see? That hot ball of gas was a star getting ready to be born. That's right! Stars are made out of hot gases. Boingo, Phoebe! Hot gases squeezed together in a ball. Yeah! Squeezed together hot enough to make a new baby star shine. The hot gas keeps the star shining like fuel for a fire for millions and millions of years. And when the fuel finally runs out, the stars die out. And those that go out with a bang like this one Leave behind the stuff to make new stars again. Excuse me, but in case you've forgotten, we still don't have a present for DA's birthday! No, but maybe we can make one. Huh? huh? As I see it, all we have to do is help along what happens naturally. What if we gather up all the leftover gas and dust and squeeze it together till it gets hot enough to shine? Brilliant idea, Keisha. Normally, it would take a million years to clean all this up, but since we do have a magic bus, it's time to take chances, sweep up the mess, and make a star! It's working, Miss Frizzle. The dust and gas are getting smooshed together. And now, when you need a good squeeze, just say please. Please! Can you squeeze a stardust cloud into a star, into a star? Can you squeeze a stardust cloud for our DA? Oh, we can squeeze it till it's sore, and there's heat within its core. And then presto, it's ready for her birthday! Yay! Congratulations, class! Yeah. Computer, set coordinates KTUR5. We're going home. Please, look! There's a star up there. It wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. I 
Gotta write about it in my star journal. Sorry we're late, DA. Late? You're just in time. See that really bright star up there? Well, that's a brand new star. And I just discovered it. Actually, DA, that's your birthday present from all of us. It is? We named it Dorothy Ann One in your honor. You did? Happy birthday, DA! Yeah! <laughs> but how? I, I I don't understand. Oh, it's a long story, Dorothy Ann. A story filled with dust and gas, with heat and. This is a special bulletin from SSN. I've just discovered a brand new star, and it's now on sale. What? That's right, a brand new star. So let's hear those telephones ring. Keisha? Out with the old and in with the new. It's sleek, it's stylish, it's yellow. That star is ours, we just bought it. No, no, sorry. You must be mistaken. This is a new star. That's right. And do you know where this new star came from? Because we do. Sure you do, kid. <laughs> we actually saw how dust and gas came together to become a new star. And that's not all. We saw a baby star and then a middle-aged star that had been shining for a long time, like our sun. And then, thanks to you, we saw the star you sold us explode. And you knew it was on its way out. Well. Maybe I did, but, uh... But what you didn't know was that if you squeeze all the dust and gas left over from the explosion and make it hot enough... You can make a brand new star. The star you're trying to sell us now. Only that's our star, because it was made from the leftovers of the one you sold us. And they gave it to me for my birthday and named it Dorothy Ann after me. So you can sell it. Yes. <clears throat> yes, well, uh... Thank you for pointing out my, uh, mistake. Well done, class. I couldn't have said it better myself. And I couldn't have gotten a better birthday present. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome, DA. Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic school bus. 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 I want the magic school bus. It's a fine night for looking at stars, Liz. It's clear as a bell up there. Now, who would be calling at this hour? Hello? Is this the star of the Magic School Bus? Well, I am the producer. Good. About your show on stars, no one can visit the stars in a flying space bus. Who are you trying to kid? Well, even though astronauts have been to the moon and back, you're right. The stars are just too far away to reach with today's spacecraft. Okay, but suppose we did build a spacecraft. How long would it take to get there? <laughs> a lifetime. The stars in our show were so far away that to get there and back before you grew old, you'd have to travel faster than the speed of light. And you can't travel faster than the speed of light. But Miss Frizzle took the kids there. Hey, that's why she drives a magic school bus. It was the only way to get there. Well, there's something else bothering me. Since our sun is a star, well, you know, it's not going to... Go out? Well, yeah, it will, but not for a long, long time. It's been shining for over four billion years, and it's got another four or five billion years to go. Whew, that's a relief. One more question. You guys sure made that new star in a hurry. How long does it really take? It takes millions of years to form a new star from the leftovers of an old one. Millions of years in a couple of minutes? You guys are always speeding up time, but this show takes the cake. You mean Liz takes the cake. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Good night. You ready, Liz? Perfect. A new constellation. The Constellation Magic School Bus. Magic school bus. Rock the river of life. 
goes right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie. On the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. 